Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Zoo Exhibit Tours. Today we are at the world famous Sedasel London Zoo and I will be taking you into the heart of India by touring the zoo's latest attraction, Land of the Lions. Opened by the Queen in 2016, this 1.3 acre exhibit represents the Gir National Park in India. The theming and immersion in this complex is incredible, so this will most likely be one of my best tours to date. So, without any further ado, let's begin the tour. An immense archway welcomes you into the Land of the Lions exhibit. When you enter, you are met with this view. But before we venture up there, let's head to the right of it. The first viewing area gives a quick look into the neighbouring flamingo enclosure. When continuing forwards into a small building, you are met with this view. This is the first of many viewing areas for the exhibit's star animals, the Asiatic lions. We will meet the pride later, so for now, let's carry on. When following the path, you are met with two more windows that allow you to get another peek into the lion enclosure, but the real spectacle lies ahead. A massive temple ruin that surrounds you from all angles and gives you a unique look into the lion's home. This is one of the most iconic and impressive views of the exhibit. This is one of three lion enclosures and it almost perfectly replicates the biomes and terrain in the Gur National Park. After taking in the incredible scenery, the path takes you to the next lion enclosure. This one is larger and greener than the previous exhibit that we've just seen, and it has a large moat that acts as a natural barrier. The enclosure is full of lush foliage, lots of climbing platforms, a cave, and even a lamp post. This enclosure and the enclosure that we saw earlier are both connected, so the lions can access both. The lions also have access to a third enclosure, which we will see later. You can also get a side look at the second lion enclosure through a fence. Land of the Lions is home to a pride of four. Banu is the male and Ruby, Heidi and Indy are the females. They are Asiatic lions and they all seem to love their newly upgraded enclosure which is much better than their old one. Asiatic lions can only be found in the Gur forest in India and they have a wild population of around 650 individuals. This data was recorded in 2017, so it is likely that this population has increased due to conservation efforts which Sedasel London Zoo partakes in. Due to their wild population being so low, it is important that we work to conserve this species. Opposite to the second lion enclosure is a large aviary for the Ruppel's Griffon Vulture. Now it's time to head back to that bridge that we saw near the entrance, but don't worry, we will run into the lions again. This large walkway circles around the next exhibit in the complex. This one houses a group of Hanuman Langas. These beautiful monkeys can be found in northern India, Bhutan and Nepal in deciduous and oak forests.
Their exhibit is very tall and provides them with lots of climbing opportunities. After the outdoor viewing, you can also look into their temple-themed indoor area. To the right of that is a second outdoor enclosure for the Langers, and after visiting several times, this seems to be the enclosure that they spend most of their time in. When continuing along the bridge, you get an above look into the first line enclosure that we saw earlier. After this, the bridge ends with steps heading downwards. Immediately in view to the right is the third and final Asiatic line enclosure. This one mimics an Indian train station and it is really well designed. Usually this enclosure is used the least by the lions, but when they do use it, you can get up close and personal with them. This enclosure is one of the most unique lion enclosures I've ever seen. Despite this being the last lion enclosure, there is still more to see. Opposite this enclosure is another viewing area for the Hanuman Langer exhibit. They also have another viewing area which you can look into. This one looks very unique and replicates some sort of shed or house. When continuing along the path, you are brought into an Indian-themed market which has been designed incredibly. It really makes you feel like you are in the heart of an Indian city. To the right of it is the final enclosure in the complex. This one houses a group of dwarf mongooses. As their name suggests, they are the smallest species of mongoose, and I believe that they are also the cutest. Behind the mongoose enclosure, there is a small viewing spot that lets you see into part of the third lion enclosure. This sort of creates a predator and prey setup, however the lions would not naturally prey on the mongooses in the wild, because the mongooses are actually from Africa, not India. However, it is still nice to have the mongooses in the complex, because they are extremely adorable and interesting animals. The path then takes you back through the Indian market to the exit of the exhibit. So that is everything about Land of the Lions at ZSL London Zoo. This is one of the zoo's best exhibits and the theming and design of it is absolutely fantastic. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode of Zoo Exhibit Tours. Next time I'll be touring some of Yorkshire Wildlife Park's newest exhibits. Thank you for watching.